Hey everybody, it's Nate and Steph from Adventure in a Backpack. Today we are going to be bringing you, by popular demand, a thorough walkthrough of our van. Yeah, so um, this, this walkthrough is going to be a little bit longer Okay, a lot longer than the reveal video was, um, but it's gonna go. We're gonna go through all of the parts of the van um, in more detail and show you guys everything that we have in it and everything that we put on it. So two things that are gonna be very very important in the description below. There's gonna be one link that goes to our website, adventureinbackpack.com, and it's going to be an index, if you will, to all of the tutorials uh, as well as the pricing and everything like that. All the information we don't talk about here can be found on adventureinbackpack.com. Mm -hmm. uh, it's in the description below as well as we're not going to talk about products specifically today uh, but all the products that we talk about on here in brief can be found on a website called kit.com which we will also link to in the description below so you ready to get started let's go okay so let's just start with the outside the exterior um, we plasti dipped this and plasti dip is basically just like a kind of a plasticky rubbery textured paint um, basically like a spray on vinyl wrap essentially uh, it's the same stuff that you would see on like tool handles uh, dip tool handles and things like that so we did this all ourselves um, so it's a little bit of a kind of a I don't know rubbery texture matte finish um, but yeah we did the whole thing ourselves um, so then moving on we went we had some new wheels and tires put on so some BF Goodrich uh, all-terrain tires and some 16 inch wheels so then the front bumper um, is made by Illumines and it is uh, winch ready we don't have a winch in it right now but we probably will be adding one uh, eventually uh, it is aluminum so it's not near as heavy as it looks <laughs> Uh, we had the windows tinted. Okay, and then the rear bumper and the rear bumper boxes are also made by Illumines. Um, they are also aluminum, so they are not nearly as heavy as they look. Um, so these boxes swing out. swing out like that and can lock in place just like that to allow access to our back doors so these rear boxes they open up and we've just got one of them is a tool box so this one we've just got all of our tools in it um, it is big enough to fit like a Honda um, generator just a smaller Honda generator um, that's what they were originally designed for. And then the roof rails, or the, I'm sorry, the box rails on top of it, we can put some jerry cans or just extra storage up here. So just extra storage in general. Okay, and the last two pieces are the uh, ladder and the roof rack. Both of them also made by, made by Illumines. Um, and the roof rack has uh, all of our solar panels mounted on it. We have five 165 watt solar panels. And then we have lights all the way around, LED lights all the way around. And then a backup camera mounted to it. So that's about all that's mounted to the roof rack right now. We do have some extra space up there um, for 
a, a roof box if we decide to put one on there or um, we've got some space in between the the bottom of the roof rack and the, the top at the bottom of the solar panels for if we wanted to maybe store some surfboards or something along those lines up there so that's pretty much everything on the exterior so t let's take a look inside Okay, so if you'll step into my kitchen. <laughs> so this is the kitchen. Um, we've got sink here, um, faucet. Uh, it does have running water. It does have an electric pump that is really, really loud, but I'll turn it on anyway. So we do have running water. Um, right here we've got, our, this is essentially our coffee uh, area. So we've got a coffee pot on a slide out. So in the coffee pot that we got is a, um, it's stainless steel insulated. And so we got that because it doesn't have a heating element to keep it hot all the time. So it's not drawing that extra electricity. Um, so it just brews the coffee and then the pot keeps it hot. Then just a little bit of extra pantry storage here. And in here are all of our dishes. So basically we just have two of everything. We've got two plates, two bowls. We've got a collapsible pot, um, two wine glasses, two cups. You know, that's pretty much all we've got. We've got two, two of everything. Um, same thing with utensils. This is our utensil drawer. So pot holders. And then with our silverware, we've got, we've actually got four of everything, but you know, basically, basically just enough for us. Um, and then just a few extra little spatulas, just normal utensils and things like that. Below that, we have our trash can. Trash can, fire extinguisher, and some cleaner. So just some extra storage in here, but mainly this is just used for our trash can. This uh, is actually just a little tilt out for our soap and uh, scrubber, dish scrubber. And then under here is our gray water tank is under here. Um, and then just some sho reusable shopping bags. That's really all that's under there. Right. Yeah. And then a little dustpan. Um, so that's all that's under there. Let's see, we've gotten all of there. In this drawer, we've got our alcohol burner stove. So this actually comes out. We can set it on the counter or we can set it on a picnic table or wherever. Um, lighter to light that. So it runs just off of alcohol. Um, that way we don't have to carry like a propane tank or anything like that. Okay, and then this area is kind of our control panel, if you will. So we've got all of our light switches here. We've got a 12 volt outlet and then a USB outlet. Uh, two outlets here, uh, or just a 110 outlet here. And then this is our solar controller. So all of our solar um, information is displayed right here. Our battery in the actual controller itself is underneath the bed on the other side, which I'll show you in a little bit. But, um, but we just ran this here so that we could see it inside whenever we needed to. And the last thing in the kitchen area is our ARB refrigerator. So it's a 12 volt fridge and um, it's the chest style. So it opens from the top. I'll open it here in a second. Um, and basically that's so that uh, the cold air stays in there more. Uh, so like a normal refrigerator, you would open it from the front. That cold air sinks and comes out the bottom. Um, but with this, it's a lot more efficient because that cold air, when you're opening it from the top, that cold air sinks and stays in the refrigerator. So just hop over here. So that's the refrigerator and then it opens from the top. This actually holds more than you would expect. Um, it's a 50 liter, I believe. Um, and yeah, it, it holds a lot more food than than we thought it would. It holds about three or four days worth of food for us comfortably, um, along with, you know, like a six pack of beer. So it's 
pretty good, um, pretty good for our purposes. Okay, so moving on to the other side of the camper van, this is gonna be the driver's side. Uh, this area is essentially our bathroom, toiletries kind of area. So, open up there. Um, we have our composting toilet here, and it's on a slide out. So a composting toilet and a broom right in there. The toilet does have a little privacy curtain here that slides out. Uh, and then we have basic, just basic toiletries in here. Uh, nothing special. We have our towels. These are quick dry towels. Um, and then a full length mirror. Um, yeah, that's basically everything in the bathroom. So let's move there. Um, I will mention that both of, uh, or all of the cabinets and drawers, uh, most of the drawers, but all of the cabinets are on magnetic, um, have magnetic latches. Uh, so that they don't rattle and come open while we're driving. We figured that out pretty quickly after we built this that we needed magnetic latches on all of these. Okay, so the next uh, set of cabinets, this is our closet. So this is Nate's side of the closet. And then my side is a little bit more packed. So pretty much um, not very many clothes, honestly. Uh, I honestly have too many. Um, for what we really need. Not a whole lot is necessary. These are just hanging clothes though. So we do have more clothes storage um, back in the bedroom area that we'll talk about in a second. Below that is basically what I would consider my dog drawer. Uh, everything for my dogs, their medications, their treats and bowls, uh, brushes, sweaters. Yeah, pretty much just dog stuff. Below that, we have our dog, Pyrus. So Pyrus has her own little built-in um, bedroom cubby. So she's she's pretty good. She's getting pretty good about staying there. She's getting better at staying there. Then Sparta, our other dog, is, uh, he has his own bed. He doesn't really have an area so much as she does because he's smaller and um, it's a little bit easier. So his bed is actually just up front in the cab area. Um, right in between our, our seats. So the next set of cabinets is another kind of pantry area. So we've got a little bit of extra food storage in here, our instant pot. We've got a skillet back there as well as a collapsible strainer. Um, collapsible stuff is amazing for van life because it folds down and is um, super easy to store and everything. In here we've got some more pantry storage, some more snacks. Um, some camera gear, um, some miscellaneous stuff that we don't really use very often, glass wipes and gloves and things like that. And then below this one um, is just kind of, again, miscellaneous storage. I've got like my sewing kit in there, some extra batteries, just random household items. Okay, and then below that is these three drawers are kind of our biggest drawer storage or our biggest storage areas at all. Um, this one is, this one is all of our camera gear that needs to be charged. So it's got our drone batteries, the drone controller, some extra lenses. It's got spots for both of our cameras, um, external battery chargers, the GoPro. Yeah, all of our camera gear that needs to be charged is in here. Minus lenses, lenses don't really need to be charged. In this drawer is all of our miscellaneous camera gear that does not need to be um, charge. So the drone itself is in there, tripods, lights, things like that. Okay. And then this last drawer is, um, honestly, it's just a junk drawer at the moment. So I apologize, but yeah, just some miscellaneous stuff. We all have one of those. Let's be honest. It's a junk drawer. The cab area, um, this, the swivel seats are awesome. We have absolutely loved that addition. Um, so we can turn around and make this kind of more of a living room area. Um, again, this is where Sparta's bed is uh, right now. And while he, while we're driving, that's usually where he sleeps. Um, sometimes at night he'll sleep on my chair. That's why this blanket is here. And then while we're driving, sometimes he just sits on my lap. He's little, so it's pretty easy for him. Um, normal cab area storage. Um, and then this is actually also where we have a Wii Boost. So we have, uh, this is a, a 4G booster, cell phone 4G booster. 
Um, and so it, there's an antenna on the back, on the outside, on the roof rack, um, that boosts the cell signal. And then this repeats it inside the cab. So it's really helped our, our ability to get cell signal pretty much wherever we are. Um, and then a fan up here. Um, I think that's pretty much all. Oh, this storage, this storage thing. It's just a little knitted. I don't know what else. Just a storage thing. Um, this is from Ikea and this has been awesome. This, we keep like the dog's, dog's leashes and poop bags and bear spray. Like just miscellaneous stuff that you would grab as you're walking out the door is what we keep in this. So that's actually been a really great addition uh, to the van. And for the like as we're driving kind of upgrades um we've got a we we installed this head unit um and it is also connected to our rear view um camera or our backup camera um which that has been that has been really awesome to have for you know this van that is big and has boxes on the back of it um, having that backup camera has been crucial um, then we also, so with that, we also, uh, installed a subwoofer and some upgraded speakers in, um, uh, in the doors. So yeah, I think that's everything as we're driving. And then the bedroom area. So obviously we have our bed. This is a full size bed. Um, and we do have it running lengthwise rather than some people put it, um, horizontally. Uh, but Nate's too tall for that, so we put it lengthwise. Um, interesting fact, this blanket actually is uh, a picture that I took last year. Um, I think it was in Alaska that I took this picture. Um, yeah, they're so just bright colored. I liked the, we liked the colors, and so we printed it on a blanket. Um, so that's the bed. Uh, this storage up here, this uh, kind of hanging storage, um is basically all of our all of our other clothes so we had the closet up there with all of our hanging clothes so this has like socks and underwear um pants shorts things like that things that you would normally put in like a dresser or something like that um are all in these little storage boxes and then they just slide out pretty easily um we have some little hooks that we can hang clothes on um to dry or for easy access in the morning or whatever um, then we've got a couple of fans back here to keep us cool this is our laundry bag back here uh, it's just hanging on a hook so it's just a small kind of drawstring bag um, then we have back here we have another 12 volt outlet as well as another two USB outlets so that we can charge our cell phones while we're sleeping um, just right there next to us. And then this chest, since this bed didn't, uh, didn't fill up this whole space, um, width wise, we figured that'd be a great space to add some extra storage. So this is just a, just, oops, just a little chest. Um, so we've got an extra blanket in there, some file storage, some maps, you know, honestly, this is pretty empty. It doesn't have a whole lot in there. Um, but it's just extra storage if we ever need it for anything else. One of the most common questions that we have gotten is, do we have an air conditioner? And the answer is no, we do not have an air conditioner in here. Um, but what we do have is um, we have two rooftop vent fans, uh, one right here, right above the bed, and then one in the kind of cab, just right behind the cab. Um, and then we also have three of these 12 volt fans, just interior. So two fan, two rooftop fans to move air in and out. And then these three fans to move air, or to circulate the air around in the van. Um, and then our other plan is just to stay out of really hot weather. Um, you know, we don't want to be in hot weather anyway. Um, incredibly hot weather, I should say. But we, we want to stay in kind of more mild climates. So if we get to an area that is overly hot, we're just going to leave because it's not going to be fun for any of us. Um, so that's, that's also another thing to mention with the dogs in here. So keeping the dogs cool, that's how we do it with them as well. Um, 
we keep the dogs in here when we're when we're out on our on adventures that they can't come on um they stay in here and 99 percent of the time it is nicer in here um than it is outside okay and i have been asked um several times what in the world these are because white curtains don't seem to go very well with van life um and you're exactly right they don't these are mosquito nets so these actually pull down hopefully get this right okay these pull down and then they have magnets They have magnets in the sides to magnetize to the side of the van. And then this one, if I pull it down, these two magnetize together. This one magnetizes to the other side of the van. Then we can open the door and let some air in the van, enjoy the view, whatever it may be, without bugs coming inside. So um, Nate's mom actually made these for us and they have been awesome to use. And then the floor. So the floor is um, actually bamboo. It's just click and lock tile that we put in um, ourselves. Um, so it's bamboo and it has a little bit of a texture so that we don't slip around on it. If it gets wet, it's fine. Um, it's pretty durable. Bamboo is pretty durable for dogs. I, I think um, uh, laminate flooring would, is probably the most common thing. Um, that's put in vans, but we wanted something a little bit, a little bit different, a little bit more natural. Um, so bamboo is, is all natural and, um, looks great so far. We've, we've had really good luck with it. So now that we've seen the exterior features and the interior kind of living features, um, let's go check out the garage area. So one of the biggest reasons we decided to move into a van and travel around um, was to have more adventures more often. Um, so everything that we have underneath here is for all of our um, all of our different adventures, mountain biking, rock climbing, hiking, that kind of thing. So let's go check it out. <laughs> So this is all of our um, adventure gear essentially. So let's just kind of run through it really quickly. In the back we've got uh, both of our mountain bikes. And then all of our like mountain bike helmets and camelbacks and everything. Um, over here we've got a couple of paddle boards. And right here we have the uh, life jackets. Uh, Pyrus goes uh, paddle boarding with us as well. So her life jacket, some dry bags, um, things like that. Rock climbing gear over here. Um, let's see, we've got just some regular day packs right here. Slack line, some hand mitt, hammocks. Um, our overnight backpacking uh, backpacks and Pyrus's backpack again. So that about covers all of our adventure gear. Um, we do have a kit.com that has all of our uh, specific gear um, on it. So if you're wondering exactly the specifics of backpacks or paddle boards or anything like that, um, you can find that at kit.com. So now that we have all of our gear out of the garage area, we can check out inside. So we've got a couple of um, just shoe racks that we use to store miscellaneous gear, some of the smaller items um, on either side. Our fresh water tanks are back here as well. So these are plumbed all the way to the kitchen in the front. And then we've got a 110 outlet here. And then all of our solar, um, solar and batteries, wiring and everything is back in the back. Um, let's see, and then we also have right here, it's actually behind this, is shore power. It's just a, a large extension cord for shore power. So this is all of our power. Our solar power comes in um, from our solar panels up top. We've got 825 watts of solar power coming into the solar controller. Um, we have 700 amp hours of battery power. 
Um, we do have an entire video talking about this whole solar setup and how to install it. So just be sure, uh, as, as well as everything on the van, we have tutorials um, on our YouTube playlist. So be sure to check out the rest of our videos if you are interested in um, specific spots of the, of the van. Um, and then let us know if you have any questions that we did not cover. So back to the solar, um, this is, there's a few ways that we can charge these batteries. Um, and everything inside the van in the living space is charged off of these batteries uh, or is powered off of these batteries. So we can charge from the sun, the solar power. Um, then we can also charge while we're driving. We have this ACR, um, an automatic charging relay, and that will power it off of, power the batteries off of the alternator, the engine's alternator. Um, and then lastly, we do have a shore power cord that we can um, plug into just a normal wall outlet if we're at, say, a campsite or, or like an RV park or anything like that, or at somebody's house, we can um, plug in like that, and that will also charge the batteries. So three ways to charge the batteries. Wow, great tour. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, so hopefully that explains a few of the things that I've been trying to explain in a simple comment. Uh, it's a little easier to see, at least for me, uh, rather than just read a few sentences and try to figure out exactly what we're talking about. So anyway, if you have any questions about this or things that we need to elaborate on in a future video, let us know. This is how we come up with content. We, you know, we take your ideas and we put it to film, basically. So, you have anything else to say? You've, you've said a lot. <laughs> yeah, I think I've said enough for this video. <laughs> awesome. Well, anyway, uh, you're going to be seeing some icons pop up on your YouTube screen right now. Uh, one, of the, one of them is going to be a uh, playlist for all of our tutorials. Another one's going to be to go to our website which is going to show you an index of all of the uh, dif different parts of the tutorials and the van build and prices and everything like that. And the last one is a subscribe bubble so be sure to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.